The renal system consists of the kidneys, the connecting arteries and veins, and the urinary tract. The kidneys are paired, bean-shaped organs lying outside the peritoneal cavity in the back of the upper abdomen, one on each side of the vertebral column. The kidneys function as the body's main excretory organs, eliminating the body's metabolic waste products by filtering the blood. Substances that are unneeded or are present in excess are filtered out of the blood and form into urine, moving via the ureter into the bladder before being expelled through the urethra, which are called the hilus where the blood vessels, nerves, and ureters connect to the kidney. The kidney is composed of up to 18 lobes. Each lobe is composed of nephrons. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney, and each kidney contains more than one million nephrons. Each nephron consists of a glomerulus and a system of tubules. The glomerulus is a unique, high-pressure mass of capillaries that filters the blood. The glomerulus is encased in a thin, double-walled capsule called Bowman's capsule. The space inside the capsule and surrounding the glomerulus is called Bowman's space. Plasma-like fluid is filtered from the capillary blood into Bowman's space through the glomerular filtration membrane. The glomerular filtration membrane consists of three layers of capillary wall, the endothelium, the basement membrane, and the epithelium. This membrane allows some particles from the blood to pass through, but not all. The fluid that is filtered from the capillary blood into the Bowman's space is called filtrate and forms the primary urine. The filtrate then diffuses across Bowman's space and into the tubule system of the nephron. In the tubules, some substances are added to the filtrate as part of the urine formation, and some substances are reabsorbed out of the filtrate and back into the blood. Each kidney is supplied with blood by a single renal artery that arises on its respective side of the aorta before dividing into five segmental arteries that enter the hilus within the kidney. Each segmental artery branches into several lobular arteries. The lobular arteries further subdivide to form interlobular arteries, which branch off into afferent arterioles. Blood flows into the glomeruli through the afferent arteriole. Tubular capillaries rejoin to form the venous channels by which blood leaves the kidneys and empties into the inferior vena cava. Urine formation involves the filtration of the blood by the glomerulus to form an ultrafiltrate of urine, the tubular reabsorption of electrolytes and nutrients needed to maintain the constancy of the internal environment, and the secretion of waste materials. The filtrate concentrates in the collecting tubules, then finds its way to the renal pelvis, where it is directed to the ureter, the bladder, and the urethra for elimination. The kidneys perform an excretory function by filtering the blood and then selectively reabsorbing those materials that are needed to maintain a stable internal environment. The nephron is the functional unit of the kidney and is composed of a glomerulus, which filters the blood, and a tubular component, where necessary substances are reabsorbed into the bloodstream and unneeded materials are secreted into the tubular filtrate for elimination in urine. <laughs>